We moved here in the fall of 1993. I started making hockey rinks on the pond that winter. My sons learned to play hockey here. My grandson caught his first fish here. It's a large freshwater pond hidden in the hills of Vermont. We started our Christmas hockey parties around 2005. The Mardi Gras Winter Carnival started in 2008. As soon as it warms up in the spring, the kids flock to the town beach for swim lessons. When the ice returns, many of these same kids traipse back to the frozen pond to attempt their first milk crate skating adventures, followed by all-day endless energetic pond hockey games. Farther on in the pond, it's ice fishermen, cross-country skiers, pleasure skaters, and even a curling rink using frozen kitty litter containers. Every spring, as soon as the ice melts, the canoeists, paddleboards, campfires, and crickets return. Some people come just to hear the loons at dusk. The last time I tried to count, a few thousand come to Curtis Pond every year. This is the place where so many of us and now our children really learn to play. The first place you ever took your girlfriend. This place builds confidence in and around the water. But what it really builds are good neighbors and good citizens. If America ever wanted to paint a picture of what an ideal community should be, Curtis Pond would be it. Like the one house in the neighborhood where everybody goes. Almost a hundred years ago, some folks had the wisdom to build a dam here, for water power to cut the logs and grind the grains. Now the dam is in trouble. Our responsibility to this community is to leave it the way we found it for our children today and for their children tomorrow. It's on all of us to keep it going. Today, and this was news to all of us who love this place, if the dam ever fails, that's it. It likely can never be rebuilt. We need to repair it now so all our children can raise their children here on this water in this community. The reality is, without all of us, Curtis Pond will revert to a large swamp and a few small ponds. The end of moonlight walks along the shore. The end of campfires, s'mores, and wet, occasionally cold, but usually giggling, kids of all ages. <laughs>